I think it's important that since we've got the man and the turntable here and he lives in Australia, that we have a little chat about the, the product. So Mark, I've been using your products for many years. Yeah, I think 2007. Yeah. With the big continuum yep. turntable. And uh, I've compared a lot of turntables secretly. I'm not going to mention names, but uh, nothing was touching the continuum, but it was a little bit bulky, a little bit like an old classic car, but still works very, very well. So I came a bit late on your new story because you're now in the Mark III version of the Elix story. Um, and here we've got the one that I'll be using now privately myself. The Continuum, I'm looking for a nice buyer. And then this. Could you quickly run us through sure, the, yeah. the, the timetable and, and what makes it unique? Okay. So um, uh, the turntable starts from a what we call a strong foundation. And what we mean by that is that we need to isolate the turntable from vibration that is generated by things like subwoofers and big bass drivers. So this turntable has a suspension system inside which comes from the world of electron microscopes, atomic force microscopes, laser interferometry, um, gravity wave observation systems. It's established through m over 300 universities and research departments. It's in the defence sector, satellite manufacturing systems. So that system cleans up the images when you're taking an image on a microscope. And the logic was a cartridge can actually transduce up to, uh, I think it's 600 nanometers of a tiny signal, which is approaching that a light. So if it cleans up a signal for an atom under a microscope, it logically will clean up the signal for a cartridge. That was the initial genesis of the idea. So we then designed a, a chassis system to take over from the low frequency performance of the minus K system inside. I'm not sure how that will pick up on the camera, but it, it shows some articulation through the window there so that we could balance the forces of a spinning platter um, around that very low frequency isolation system. And we do that through a series of um, plates and um, weight distribution to achieve what we call a perfect balance. Um, it's a belt drive turntable, which um, the motor is actually mounted on the same plane as the uh, bearing, which is done for reasons of pitch stability. And then it has uh, also another further isolation system for the arm boards, which you can mount two arm boards on. It also, in the Mark III version, has a new clamp, which is also containing some special materials inside a chamber and further chambers up in the upper section um, to isolate the noise generated by a needle in a groove. So we're trying to address every aspect to suppress noise down to um, as low as we possibly can with the technology available today and um, play music for the sake of uh, hearing what the artist has originally put into that groove. And, yes, and I think that uh, you've done it very, very well, Mark. Thank you. And I, I can tell you that I think I know the recipe and it's very rare in audio high end that this recipe always exists is that tremendous combination of a science man with quite a lot of knowledge in science so that you're not going <laughs> to be bullshitted by the hocus pocus stuff and the love of music. Oh, the music for me is the most important exactly. aspect and I think, um, I mean, Ricardo and I were sharing uh, favourite artists and, and discovering new artists and that's the wonder of being at shows that is you get to hear new music and um, it hasn't become old hat for Ricardo and I can't see it becoming old hat for me. It's the fun of uh, the music, which is what brings people to these shows. So people can believe me when I say this is an excellent, it's, it's, it is the finest around. And, and on one criteria, uh, it is unique, is that the music flows. 
It's absolutely uh, very fluid. There's no uh, sign of congestion. And maybe you should maybe... Uh, you know, with turntables, we know all of us that using turntables. When you go away from the little musics and the voices and the little violin and the little piano, and you start engaging in more complex material, as the material gets very loud, uh, or, or goes in crescendo or more instrumental, the turntable tends, in general, to tends to shrink. Do, to shrink the sound. And we know we are aware of it, but we say, okay, that's normal, that's a turntable. This turntable doesn't do that. And I think that makes it a unique brother. Yeah, it's, um, I, I wanted to get the, the best out of my record. Some of the music is quite um, dynamic. Um, in Australia, we have classical music, uh, we call that ACDC, um, and it can excite a system. I wanted to hear that in its full glory, and as well as classical music and other forms of electronic music that can really scale um, and play a movie soundtrack. Some of the movie soundtracks, they're, they're cavernous in their capability. So I wanted a turntable that could do that with ease, and I think we've We've reached that point. Everybody tells me it's capable. And I tell you the calculation. If you've got more than 5,000 records or 3,000, divide the price of the turntable into the number of records you've got, and you'll find it's a very cheap investment for every record you have. I've never so, thought of it like that. That's good. <laughs> 5,000 records, 70,000 euros, 70,000 into 5,000. Is it 20 euros? Not a lot of money to invest into... Uh, uh, a record for those of you who love records as you know now there's a big phono stage market yeah. where people don't even use preamps with inputs they just have a phono stage that goes straight, straight to the power amp. bang and that is fantastic okay yeah. thank you again uh, thank you Cesaro, for letting us use this thank you room. Ralph. and i hope it's been all good good information Thank, Thank you, you Mark. Thank you, Ricardo. Thank yeah, you. pleasure.